Last time we solved the yellow plus. Today we're gonna find the yellow fish and that fish will lead us to completely solving the yellow side. To do the move for the yellow fish, you will need to memorize this. Clock clock counter, clock clock flip counter. That's clock clock counter, clock clock flip counter. And by the way, clock means clockwise. If I were to turn the top of this cube clockwise, I would turn it like this. Counter means counterclockwise. If I were to turn the top of this cube counterclockwise, it would go like this. And flip is a 180 turn, like this. So my finger and thumb will just switch places. If I were to turn the top as a flip, it would do this. And some people have asked in the comments, which way do you do the flip? Well, it doesn't really matter which way you do a flip, it ends up in the exact same spot. Sometimes it's hard to remember all the steps of the Rubik's Cube. No worries, I built a cheat sheet so you'll never forget. Not only does it come with diagrams and notes to help you in your solve, but I even threw in a guide that's wallet sized. Link is in the description. Wait, what's that? You want the cheat sheet for free? If you become a patron, you'll get the cheat sheet for free, plus you can watch my videos with no advertisements. I'll even include your name in any new videos that I make. To become a patron, click the link in the description. Okay, so here's your test. What are the moves for the yellow fish? You are correct if you said clock clock counter, clock clock flip counter. If you couldn't say it, then you've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found wanting. Bonus points if you know what movie that is from. Let me know in the comments. The pattern for the yellow fish is simple. As always, we start on the right side. All the patterns for the 3x3 three three always start on the right. Right, top, right, top. So just imagine that this pattern goes on forever. But the most important thing is that you remember that it starts on the right side. Before we do the moves for the yellow fish, let's take a look at the top of the cube. What pattern do we have? And does it match the pattern in these graphics here? So this one is called the clean plus. If you get this one, make sure that these two dots are moved to the left side like so. So here is the turtle. So you've got his shell here and he's got his head sticking out. All you have to do when you see the turtle is to make sure the turtle is facing you just like in the image there. This pattern is the crab. If you use your imagination, then it looks like you're looking at the top of a crab. And what you do here is you move it just like you see in the picture there. You move it where this little bit of food, make sure that, uh, let's see if we can find it. There it is. Make sure there's a the piece of food is here in the front left. I call that crab food. As long as the, the crab is facing here to the bottom left and he's got a piece of food here. So this one's called the yellow fish. When you see the yellow fish, make sure he's turned to the bottom left like so. Here we've got the clean plus. So look over at the chart. What should we do? We make sure that two dots are to the left. So that is this position here. There they are to the left. And then we do those moves, clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. Remember, we start on the right and then go to the top, right, top. So we're going to do it like this. So clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. And we have the fish pointing to the top left. So we need to bring that here to the bottom left, like so. And we've already got the fish food too. That means we are about to solve it. Sometimes you get the fish without the fish food, uh, but when you get the, the fish with the fish food, then you're about to solve. So we do the fish moves once again, starting on the right, clock, clock, counter, clock, Clock, flip, counter. And so we just solve the yellow side. Stick around, don't leave the video yet because I've got some helpful examples ahead. But when you can go from a scrambled cube to solving the yellow fish in under five minutes, then do the following. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and go to the description and click on step seven.
And now it's time to talk about the dreaded infinite yellow. The infinite yellow is where step six loops forever. I can't say that it's ever happened to me, but after many people telling me this is happening to them, it turns out that most of the time it's because their cube has been altered or broken so that it's impossible to solve. Other times it only feels like you're in the infinite yellow. It can seem like you're in the infinite yellow when these situations occur, not orienting the cube correctly. If it's a fish, you need to make sure it's turned to the bottom left. The turtle needs to be facing towards you. You need to make sure the crab is in the right position. The clean plus should have those two dots on the left. The previous step is not correct. If step five isn't solved, then you will never be able to solve step six. Make sure you actually have the yellow plus before trying to do step six. You are cursed. There's a lot of ways this could have happened, so just make sure you avoid them. A potential way to remove the curse is to go to easiestsolve.com and click on the donate button. So if you've done all these things and you still can't get past the infinite yellow, as Thor would say, you're not worthy. But more than likely, it's because your cube is broken. If you want the cube that I use, check my description. If you want some more tips for the infinite yellow, I have a video called Infinite Yellow. The link is in the description. Once again, I'm going to show an example of how to solve the yellow side. We have our yellow plus from our previous step, and now we want to finish solving this. So what do we do? Do we see a pattern over there in uh, the chart? Yes, this one looks like the turtle. And what do we do? We make sure the turtle is facing us. I'm going to turn the top. So now the turtle is facing us. And then we do those moves. Starting with the right side, clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. Now what do we see? We see the fish. What, where should the fish go? According to the picture, we take the fish to the bottom left. And there is no fish food here, so that's, that's fine though. Let's do those moves. Clock, clock, counter. Clock, clock, flip, counter. We got the fish again. Let's move him to the bottom left. And now he does have the fish food, which means we're about to solve the yellow side. Clock, Clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. Just in case this helps you, here's another example of solving the yellow side. We've got our yellow plus, and what shape do we see over there in the image? It is the crab. So how do we orient the crab? We make sure that the crab is facing to the left. So you could say it's facing to the left here, but look, it's missing that, that uh, food here. So we're on the wrong side. There we go. Now this is the front of the crab. There's the fish food. And then we can go and proceed with the, with the moves. Clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. And here we have the fish without the food. So we have two steps to go. Our next move should end up with the food. Clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, counter. We move this to the bottom left. There's the fish food. We do the moves once more. Clock, clock, counter, clock, clock, flip, and then counter. Hey, real quick, I designed this t-shirt, but it still cracks me up. It says, I can solve a cube because I'm smarter than you. Check the links in the description for all the shirts available in my store. When you can go from a scrambled cube to solving the yellow fish in under five minutes, then do the following. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and go to the description and click on step seven.